three. Okay, so we're going to try and catch Hans here, the guy on top of the birdhouse. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'll explain, is I'm going to calmly move him in one direction and then move him in the other direction. Just calmly move him back and forth so I can predict where he's going to be. And then I'm simply going to drop my net in front and hopefully catch him. Um, you'd never ever want to wave and swat at your chickens. You're going to panic them. So you can hurt them or yourself. So, um, here we go. Let's try and catch Mr. Uh, Mr. Hans. Hey, buddy. Think of yourself getting picked up by King Kong or the not so jolly green giant. What's going to be going through your head? It's like, oh dear, am I going to get eaten? Are they going to drop me? Am I going to get squished? So that's what these guys are thinking. They're going to be trying to get away, they're going to be wiggling, they're going to be flapping, they're going to be kicking. So what you want to do is you want them to feel supported. So just as you would want to in any of the fair rides, you want to make sure that that harness is on you nice and tight so you're not going to fall. Same thing with these guys. So what I'm doing is I'm supporting him underneath with my hand, with my left hand. See, he's wiggling. And I'm also supporting him against my body. If I didn't want him against my body, I can use both hands over the wings. Put both hands underneath and then I put my thumb over his wings. You want to keep a hand. You want to keep a hand or your body over the wings to prevent flapping. That just makes matters worse. Once they get settled, hold them for a little while, give them a little squeeze, and then let, let them go when they're good. You, you never want to let them go when they're squirming and wiggling. That just reinforces bad behavior. 